Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use a free iPad app called InkPad to make open path designs that you can use in Silhouette Studio or other cutting software. So the first thing you want to do is open InkPad. And then you want to press the plus sign up in the corner and make a new document. We'll make it letter size and landscape and we'll push the create button. And now we have a new document. I'm going to push the gear and I'm going to turn on the grid just so I have some lines to use as reference. You can set up this however you would like it. And then I'm going to click on the paintbrush tool and I'm going to start drawing. And you can draw whatever size you want and you just start writing. Let's say we make the word hello in my handwriting. Okay, well we see there's some problems there. One is this has got a fill. So we're going to click on this button down here and turn the fill to none. And we've also got a line that's too thick. So we're going to reselect by clicking the arrow tool and then clicking on that. Then we're going to go under the line button and this slider here will let us make this however we however thick we'd like it. So you can just that's just for your own benefit because you can change this when you get the file done. Okay, so now that you've got the settings, you can write however you want when you click back on the paintbrush tool and you can make your own words and so forth. You can see I have no artistic ability at all. When you click on this little squiggle here it goes back stroke by stroke there's all kinds of editing you can do, but basically you can click on the edit button, delete any of these, you can rotate, erase, you've got all kinds of things you can work with. I usually use a lot of trial and error here, and I've also found another thing that's helpful is I put a mouse pad on my screen so that I can lay my hand comfortably like I would if I was writing normally. That helps. So let's just say that I like that and I'm ready. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press the gallery button and then I'm going to press the little button in the bottom corner and I'm click on a click on the drawing I just made and I'm going to click the Dropbox button. And now I'm going to click check S make sure SVG is checked and I want to click on upload. So it has just uploaded that to Dropbox. Okay, so now I'm done on the iPad part and I'm ready to bring the file into Silhouette Studio. So I saved it through Dropbox, so I'm going to go down to my Dropbox folder, open the InkPad folder, and here's my drawing named Drawing2.svg, and I'm going to drag that onto my mat, and I'm going to let go. And I am in the Cut Styles window, so it's a little bit dim and you'll see that like most SVGs it will not let me set a cut setting yet. That's because it needs to be ungrouped. So I'm going to go down here to the ungroup button and ungroup that and you will see that it now has a cut line and because this is a single path I just drew this as a single line you'll see that when it's on cut it will cut down the center of that and when I put it on cut edge it will cut around the outside. What's really nice about this is if I'm drawing with a pen I would put it on cut and it would draw naturally like handwriting. If I want to cut I can set it to cut edge and also I can change the thickness uh, if I want to make a thicker cut and that responds to cut edge. But anytime I put it back to cut it goes back to my original single line. So this is a really interesting, easy and cool way to make single path files for 
Silhouette Studio with your iPad. Thanks for watching.